Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Tonight, new cell phone video recorded by Keith Scott's wife, Rakia, and obtained by NBC News for the first time shows the moments before the 43-year-old was Don't fatally shoot him. shot. He has no weapon. He has no weapon. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. Don't shoot him. He didn't do anything. Scott's wife pleading to officers as police yelled this order 12 times. He doesn't have a gun. He has a TBI. He's not going to do anything to you guys. He just took his medicine. Rakia referring to a traumatic brain injury. The family's lawyer says Scott suffered in a motorcycle accident last year. She asked her husband to get out of the car. Keith, don't let them break the windows. Come on out the car. Keith, don't do it. Keith, get out the car. Keith, Keith, don't you do it. A man who appears to be Scott is standing outside the vehicle. Moments later. Keith, don't you do it. From the beginning, police have said Scott refused to obey orders and that he posed an imminent threat. Keith, Earlier in the encounter, the Rakia shouted. Keith, Keith, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Her attorney says there are several possibilities for why she said that. She could be referring to law enforcement uh, in her request, please don't shoot my husband. But in talking with her, her best recollection of why she said that was she was wanting him to stand still. Did you shoot him? Did you shoot him? Did you shoot him? He better not be dead. Scott's wife continues to record as officers begin tending to him. I know that much he better not be dead. When Scott is first seen on the ground, there's nothing next to him. Moments later, something passed between the officers falls before what appears to be gloves are dropped on the ground and then picked up. He good. Ain't nobody touch nobody, so they all good. I know he better live. I know he better live. On Wednesday, police sources speaking to NBC affiliate WCNC confirmed this witness photo taken sometime after the shooting shows a gun at Scott's feet. But his family and some witnesses insist he was unarmed. That's okay. Did y'all call the police? I mean, did y'all call an ambulance? For three straight nights, protesters have taken to the streets of Charlotte, demanding the release of police dash cam and body camera video of Scott's death. It's not that I want to hide anything. It's I want to be more thoughtful and deliberate in delivering the whole story. Scott's family viewed those videos privately last night for the first time, but local officials have refused to release them publicly, calling the videos ambiguous. I do believe the video should be released. Um, the question is on the timing. The officer who police say pulled the trigger, identified as Brentley Vinson, is now on paid leave. Today, state investigators took over the case. I know he better live. I know he better live. But this newly released cell phone video raising more questions and fueling more anger in a community where emotions are still raw. I feel like the city is scared. The city is scared. City officials are declining to comment on this cell phone video, referring all questions to the State Bureau of Investigation. That uh, agency is also declining to comment on the video, the cell phone video, but it says it, it will not release the body cam footage or the dash cam footage, at least not yet. This city remains under a state of emergency. Savannah. Gabe Gutierrez in Charlotte, thank you. Let's bring in MSNBC chief legal correspondent Ari Melber. And Ari, there is a legal standard for when police use of deadly force is justified. Does this new video shed any light on that central question? Savannah, officers are always under a test of what a reasonable police officer would perceive to be a risk of imminent bodily harm or death posed by the suspect. This graphic new video does not show the exact moments of the shooting on tape, but the crucial 50 seconds leading up to it. There is positive news in there for officers because it shows them asking repeatedly over 10 times for Mr. Scott to drop what they believed was a weapon on him. Still, the video raises other questions about the procedure at the scene, how evidence was secured, all questions that won't really fully be answered until the police release their own videos, which so far they're declining to do. Savannah? Ari Melber, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.